Hey everyone and once again welcome to WS Cube Tech English channel. Myself Umar Taskir. Guys, in this particular video of Facebook ad series, we are basically going to talk about carousal ads. So we'll be discussing how can we actually set carousal ads and what are the different options present over there at that ad set level whenever we are going to uh, set the carousal ads and what kind of images we should opt for while going for carousal ads. So this is what we will be discussing in this particular video. So before actually starting the main content of this particular video, I would like to request you to please do subscribe this channel and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you do not miss any one of the upcoming videos. So guys, what we have to do is uh, we, we have to go to this ads level over here and let's try to create one ad, right? So I will be going to this traffic campaign and then I'll click on this continue, right? So that we can come to this ad level over here. And from here, what we are going to do is we have selected our Facebook page. We can go ahead and select our Instagram account also. And then we can select this carousal thing, right? And to, to use carousal as your ad format, what you have to uh, do is basically you should have uh, at least two images that will be used as carousal or you can use more than two images uh, kind of stories to create carousal ads. So what we are going to do over here is let me first remove this uh, URL from here because of this particular URL we are seeing something over here right. So we will go ahead and remove this URL from here and then we will come back over here and now what we have to do is we, we have two options over here manually choose images videos and links or we can go ahead and fill carousal cards dynamically from a product set so that is basically for the shopping or related stuffs or for e-commerce related stuffs right uh, this is not what we are going to do right now we are uh, talking about this thing where we will be choosing manually that what kind of images videos or links we want to use right so we can we can use videos also in images what we can do is we can go ahead and we can we can choose one image and then one video and then we can again choose one image and then we can again choose one video or what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, like we can select these thing images 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 or images right so we can do this thing also and we can do this thing also where we will be doing like video plus video plus video plus video right so we have all these options as i have also told you before that uh we can we can also test things so if you want to test one ad with like image 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 and image only thing right so you can go ahead and uh, use four images into your ad creative in the form of carousal right or uh, you can go ahead and create four videos also right so you can use different these different ads uh in in your ad creation process you can use all these kind of different ads in your uh, uh, ad creation process and you can use all these different formats for the purpose of testing and then you can figure out which one is working best for you and you can move along with that particular uh, thing or that particular combination and you can drop other formats so this is what you can actually do right so coming back over here uh, we are going to select this thing where we will be choosing manually that what kind of images we want to use so as soon as you will select this manually choose images option over here you will see these different carousal cards that you can use so you have different options over here also right so now let's uh, insert some images over here so let me click on this uh, edit thing over here and let's select some images right so i have some carousal uh, carousal based images over here uh, so we will be selecting those images only right so uh, in this particular example, what we are going to do is we are going to promote our different courses. So we have this particular website over here, courses.wscubetech.com. And suppose we are going to promote the courses from this store only. So what kind of carousals I have prepared, right? And that is what I'm going to show you. So the different courses on this website are divided into different things like programming, web technologies, digital marketing, PHP, MySQL and backend course, right? So we have different uh, uh, categories over here that we can select and within uh, those categories we have different courses like if we go to digital marketing we have uh, like these different courses uh, over here right we have some free courses in this uh, digital marketing thing and then we have some paid courses so right now i'm going to uh, prepare a carousal for the paid courses so guys there can be different cases also suppose we want to promote complete website right complete website no matter what uh, category that particular course is in but we want to sell that course right and the second thing is we want to sell programming courses and the third thing is we want to sell digital marketing courses so now when we will try to sell digital marketing courses we will prepare carousals or we will prepare images that will basically have uh, content related to digital marketing only right and when we will be uh, promoting programming courses we will try to prepare carousals and images which will have uh, content related to programming courses only right or uh, the theme related to programming courses only 
and if we are advertising for the complete website and we are going for carousal as image format what we have to do is we have to show different categories right now we have to show different categories in one uh, card we can show programming uh, related courses in word card we can show uh, digital marketing related courses in one card we can show web development related courses so whenever we are trying to uh, advertise the complete website or whenever we want to showcase or represent our complete website uh, using those carousal cards what we can do is we can uh, use those different categories in different uh, cards right and for individual categories what we have to make sure suppose if i am uh, advertising for digital marketing courses then in different cards what we can do is in one card we can write google ads course or about google ads course in second card what we can do is we can go ahead and write about facebook ads course and in third we, we can go ahead and write about analytics course so we can do these kind of things or in fourth if we have like any other one seo course we can do this thing also so now we will be having four cards and those all four cards will be representing four different courses from the category digital marketing and clicking on these cards will redirect user to a specific landing page suppose if anyone is going ahead and clicking on this google ads course carousal they will be redirected to google ads course landing page from there they can actually purchase that thing right so they can do this thing uh, so let me show you how can we basically implement this thing so first of all what i am going to tell you is about the general uh, website right the general website where we are going to uh, where we are actually going to promote all our categories so what we can do is we can go ahead right we can go ahead and uh, uh, let's select some carousal uh, cards from here so let's select this thing first right so it is basically the first image that we are selecting right this one is 10th anniversary offer so we can write headline now or never now or never offer and then we can write flat 50% off on all courses okay and then we can write our url website url so whenever i am talking about all courses we will uh, redirect user to this thing where we are actually uh, representing all the courses so we will redirect user to this particular url so we will go ahead and put this particular url over here right now because as i told you we are promoting complete website in this particular carousal what we have to do is we have to write about another category or we have to create a card which will represent another category right so i'll go ahead and i'll select one image for card number two okay let me select this thing so this one is over here right this one is the card number two and over here what we are going to do is first we have to select one image so we'll select one image from the account images that i have already used in some of the uh, ads or campaigns before so we'll select uh, images from there and then i'll select digital marketing courses from here so first uh, card will represent digital marketing courses right now we will write 50% uh, off on digital marketing courses right and then we can write uh, offer expiring soon kind of thing over here then we have to change this website url because this time we do not want user to go on this landing page right uh, we want user to go on this digital marketing uh, page right so we can copy this digital marketing url over here and then we can go ahead and paste this digital marketing url right so this is how we should do this thing and this is how it is done and for each and every uh, carousal we have different elements like headlines descriptions and website url so we should use specific uh, headline for a specific card right so now what we can do is we are at card number three now now we can select card number three image over here like uh, web development courses okay we will go ahead and write 50% uh, of web development courses and then we can include descriptions now or never offer and then we should write about then we should put the url of web development courses category so we will go ahead and we will select our category from here right like web technologies web technologies and then we will put this specific url over here right so this is how we should do this thing and we can also have a preview of this thing so we can go ahead and see the preview of these kind of carousal ads right so this is how we should create our carousal ad and the another thing that i have told you is all about uh, like uh, 
when we are very much specific and we want to advertise specific courses in one category only what we can do is we can target the audience having interest in digital marketing and then we can promote digital marketing related carousals only to that particular audience so suppose if we are going to create another carousal let me remove all these things first okay so the first one is removed now we will remove others also so now uh, everything is removed now what we can do is we can go ahead and select other images from here right so we have different images suppose if we are only promoting digital marketing courses like this one agency styled google analytics course right so i will now uh, put 50% uh, off on google analytics course so this is what we are going to put over here right offer expiring soon and our website url will be specific to google analytics course page only right so we will select google analytics course page from here we'll copy this thing and we'll paste this url over here right so if anyone is coming on to this particular ad clicking on the first card they will be redirected to this particular page right so now we are targeting relevant people now we are targeting more specific now we are going more specific we are showing our ads to only uh, people who have interest in digital marketing so we'll be showing uh, digital marketing related course only now we are not going to show web development or programming related course to these particular audience so it actually depends on your targeting this thing i already told you whenever you uh, select your targeting you have to make sure that uh, with respect to that targeting what kind of carousals images videos whatever your ad format is what kind of ad format you are going to use that should actually map with your targeting so this is your uh, overall objective that you have to keep in your mind and you also have to redirect user to that particular URL only, right? So that will be more relevant and the chances of conversions or the actions will be higher in that particular case, right? So you should do these kind of things. And then uh, there is one checkbox automatically show the best performing card first. So if uh, Facebook finds that you have entered five cards and any one of those particular ca card is performing well or more people are engaging with that card, Facebook will find that that is actually one of the best performing cards. From the next time, it will basically put that card in the very beginning, right? So if you have made any structure, if you have made any story, that will basically create a problem because your objective was to show your ads in a sequence, right? In a sequence to the user. But because Facebook thinks that uh, there is one card which is performing well, Facebook will bring that particular card in front. So I'll recommend you to uh, uncheck this option so that automatically show the best performing cards comes first is disabled, right? And now the second thing is add a card at the end with your Facebook page profile picture. So the page that you are using to advertise, right? The page that you are using to run these campaigns, that particular page profile will be used as end card, right? So what we can do is we can close this thing and we can use our own end card, right? So when we are creating carousals, we have to make sure that what kind of element will be there in the very beginning, right? In the form of first card and what kind of element will be there in the last card. So there should be some call to action in the last card. So if anyone is scrolling through all those cards and reaching to the end, uh, they should see that um, call to action and then they should react accordingly, right? So I have some end cards also. Now let me show you those end cards also. Okay, I'm not entering anything over here. I'm just showing you the end cards. So we'll go ahead and select one image and then we will select one end card from here so that you can see what kind of end cards we have actually prepared and how they are going to help us because I do not want Facebook to use that by default option that they provide us of uh, like Facebook profile picture as end card. I do not want to use that thing, right? So now, uh, we have this thing like follow your dream, right? Follow your dream and register now. So this is the call to action image that we can actually use and then the do download the application now and then there is simple logo. So I have prepared these things, right? So if you'll see uh, these six cards, they are basically the story. Like time is running out, offer expiring soon, flat 50% off on all the courses. This is first card. Then we are promoting our digital marketing courses where we'll be putting our digital marketing uh, course category link right and then we have web development courses then we have programming courses and then these all three cards are different call to actions where we are telling follow your dream don't miss the chance register now now in the second we are saying download the app now this is again the call to action that we are doing so we have two call to actions over here and then we have the final card over here which is there with the logo and our website and email address over there right and there is no guarantee that this uh, this carousal ad will work right you have to test you have to test uh, with different headlines you have to test with different color combination as i did you can see we have different 
uh, carousels over here. So I have tested all these things and the one which worked for us, we, we kept that and uh, the one which actually didn't work for us, uh, we removed that thing and or we, we basically pause those ads, right? So this is how you should work with carousel ads. So that's it for this specific video. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.